Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, SherryAnnRichardson.com, and by AndrewBlogatomPage.com. Welcome to our daily vlog. Um, we are still having the coronavirus panic. I was out at the store earlier. Um, I needed, well, I didn't need to. I wanted to go get some of my flavored uh, carbonated waters that I like. And people were absolutely buying the limits of everything up. There was one type of paper towel, uh, which I bought a pack of because I was out. And there was no toilet paper to be had, not even uh, off store brand. Both Walmart and Meyer parking lots were completely packed to the guilds. Um, it was just unreal the way people were piling their carts with anything and everything. These stalkers were there stocking. Um, I wanted a can of tuna to try to catch the cat, my grandma's cat, because um, she's not real friendly and we're trying to get a hold of her. And I had to ask the lady that was stocking for a can of tuna. And she said, well, these cans are three twenty nine. And clear in the back corner where I didn't see, they had a can of 50 cent tuna. And she said, if it's just for a cat, this is good enough. And I said, it's just for a cat. So I got it. Um, and then we wanted to get a little bit uh, more ammo. I ended up going three places. The first place said they couldn't sell any unless I bought a gun. I didn't want to buy a gun. So, um, I just don't believe that having a whole bunch of those is going to do any good. Um, so I didn't go there. I went to another place and he was almost out of everything. And then I ended up in a third place and they had what I needed, but the applications going in, uh, for people to be checked to see if they were eligible to buy guns was unreal. They were actually having to lock doors and limit people coming in. And it was just absolutely unbelievable. A lot of the people looked really young. Um, maybe in their teens or just out of high school. Um, I know you can't always tell by how somebody looks, but I mean, these guys look real young. And I was just kind of shocked. Um, there was a stack of applications they were going through to see who they could get approved. Um, because you do have to do a background check and all that stuff here. Um, and I believe when I did mine that I was told there was a three day wait. Um, I don't honestly remember, but I was thinking that I filled out my application and then I had to come back in three days to see if I was approved. So, um, but the panic buying and people not using their common sense right now is just really um, unreal. I know that it's scary times and nobody knows for certain what's going to happen. I know the National Guard being deployed every place is, it has a lot of people on edge. The horror stories that we are hearing of people dying and hospitals being out of beds and all those things just lead to the fear. And I think if we all took a breath, calmed down, did our part to avoid large crowds, um, you know, wash our hands, use sanitizer when needed, and really buckled down with this that it would get over a lot faster. I think as long as the panic buying continues, 
there are going to be people that survive paycheck to paycheck, just like us. Um, we're a little luckier um, than some, I think, because I realize that some people only have one paycheck coming into their house and maybe working minimum wage and may really not have a lot of money. But I think that if people would just calm down and, you know, you don't need a year's worth of toilet paper. If you've got it, fantastic. If you've stocked up and bought a little extra through the way, I think that's great. But we need to let these factories and these stores get stocked back up. We need to let these truck drivers not keep pushing through long hours longer than they're supposed to drive because that's really dangerous, guys. And you need to remember, those truck drivers have families just like everybody else. You know, they need their time to pull off the road and get some food and get some sleep and be refreshed when they get back in those semis to head on to their destinations or to head back home or wherever they're going. So I think the number one thing is, you know, please stop the panic buying, buy just what you need. And if you really don't need anything, stay home. Um, you know, it's not bad here. We've had one case. Um, that's the only reason I'm even still venturing outside of my door. Otherwise, I would be absolutely locked in. But we've had one case and I'm practicing the distance rule and using the self-checkout, using sanitizer when I go out. And I feel like, yes, it's going to get worse. We're going to have more cases here. We don't right now. We're lucky. Everything seems to be going fairly smooth other than the panic buying, like I said. Um, also, I want to put a plug in. If you have a restaurant in your area that's doing carry out, especially a small local owned restaurant, please... Um, buy from them if you're still buying food out. If you're not, I understand. But if you're still buying food, instead of going to McDonald's or another big chain, think about your small independent restaurants. One, they may not be as crowded, and two, they really need your support right now. All the small businesses do. They're probably not going to be as crowded, and a lot of them are going to be happy to accommodate you if you say, you know, I need to buy this, 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 and this but I don't want to come in. Can someone bring it to my vehicle? You know, I know there's a lot of that going on, even with bigger stores. But when you think about the number of stores that have closed down over this, the limited hours, the lack of stock available, this is getting out of hand. If you need resources, my blog is experimentalhomesteader.com. I have all kinds of things on there from how to make your own yeast to how to make some of your own uh, baking supply substitutions if you can't find those, how to make bread, how to make noodles, what to do during this time. And I've even got an article all about the coronavirus and nine tips to stay safe. I've also got articles over there about um, these types of diseases, what to do about them, and lots and lots of good things that you could really get some use out of during this time and really learn how to hunker down and get by. Um, another thing that I was thinking, and I hope a lot of people are realizing this, if you have something like a whole chicken or a whole turkey, potentially you could have three or more meals out of that depending on your family size. You know, cook it like you normally would for your first meal. And then instead of throwing that carcass and that little bit of meat away that's stuck to the bones, go ahead and put it in a pot, cover the whole thing with some water, and boil it. That meat will fall right off those bones. You can use that for, you know, pot pies or whatever you want to use it for. You know, some people like chicken salad sandwiches. Whatever you want to use that meat for. The bones will turn that water into a wonderful broth. A wonderful bone broth and you can just strain those bones off some people will re-roast them after the first time 
and make another batch of bone broth. That's up to you. Um, if not, if you're not going to reuse the bones, I would encourage you to put them out. You know, if you have stray cats or something like that, you could give those bones to them. You don't want to give the bones to a dog, but, you know, a stray cat will come along and eat on those bones. And so right there, you've got three or more meals, depending on how much broth you make. And, you know, like I said, the size of your family. And that's from one, you know, $10 chicken or $15 turkey. So one of the keys to really stretching your food right now is to think of how many different ways you can use it. And like I said, don't, um, don't throw away food that you could be making just because you've never done it. Now is not really the time to learn, but it is the time to learn if you haven't learned before now. So anyway, guys, I hope you're all staying safe. Um, take care. Please subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.